Hi, welcome to another video in my series on solving simultaneous equations by the method of elimination. Now, in the first video in this series, I showed you the method of elimination and how we go about solving this example here, number one. In this video, I'm going to show you how we solve this one here, number three. And as usual, what we do with simultaneous equations is we number our equations. And I'll number that one, number one, and that one, number two. Now with this particular simultaneous equation, I notice that the x terms are not the same. So I won't be able to eliminate these two terms. But the y terms both have a 2y in. So they're kind of the same. They're not exactly the same because this is a negative and this is a plus. So when they are different, what we have to do is add our two equations together. It's the only way that we'll be able to eliminate these two terms. So we tell the reader what we're doing and that is to add the two equations together. Either 1 add 2 or 2 add 1. It's not going to make any difference. So if we add our equations, we've got 3x plus 5x giving us 8x. So as for the, the x terms, we get 8x. For the y terms, I said they get eliminated, but we'll just run through that very quickly. Remember to read the sign in front of your y term. In this example, it's minus 2y. So what we've got is minus 2y. And to this, we are adding, so write that in red, the second y term here, which is plus 2y. So we're adding plus 2y. And so we've got two signs exactly the same. So we change this to a plus. So we've got minus 2y plus 2y, which is 0. So the y terms do get eliminated if we add. And then we've got equals. And then we've got 7 plus 17, which is going to be 24. So it's just a case now of solving this by dividing both sides by 8. And that leaves us with x equals 24 divided by 8, which is 3. And now that we've got x equals 3, we can substitute this value into either equation 1 or 2. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to choose to sub x equals 3 into, let's say, equation 2. I'll leave it to you to substitute it into equation 1, say. should end up with exactly the same value for y. So if I substitute x equals 3 into equation 2, then what I've got is 5x, 5 times 3. So we've therefore got 5 times 3 plus the 2y okay, equals the 17. And so what I've got here is 15 plus the 2y equals 17. So if I subtract 15 from both sides, we end up with 2y equaling 17 take away 15, which is 2. Divide both sides by 2, and I end up with y equaling 2 divided by 2, which is 1. So therefore, in summary, we've got that x equals 3 and y equals 1. Now we could substitute these values back into equation 1 and to 2 and check that they satisfy the equation. When x equals 3, we've got 3 times 3, which is 9. When y is 1, we've got 2 times 1, which is 2. So 9 take away 2 is 7. And for equation 2, 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 times 1 is 2. 15 and 2 checks out. It equals 17. All right. So that's the method then for question three. I would encourage you to have a go at four, five, and six just by looking in tutorial four, tutorial five, tutorial six. Certainly six because six is very different from the ones that we've got here in three, four, five. Okay.